the morning, Dan and Amy. Yesterday, two Israeli women killed in the uh, southern city of Ashkelon by a rocket that landed on a home. Uh, Hamas boasted that it had fired 137 rockets at Israel in the space of five minutes, bringing the total up to more than 400 from the previous night, wounding more than 70 Israelis. The uh, Israeli military, in response, striking Hamas and Islamic Jihad terrorist sites, these you know, rocket launch pits, uh, IAF, the um, Air Force sending 80 aircraft to destroy these, those pits in Gaza. And um, this attack on Israel was uh, ge- uh, generated this response from Bolshevik Bernie Sanders. I'm extremely concerned by the growing conflict in Israel and Palestine. Once again, we see how the irresponsible actions of government-allied right-wing extremists in Jerusalem can escalate quickly into devastating war. Hmm. Government-allied right-wing extremists in Jerusalem, their actions are responsible for the fighting. Hmm. Well, that's a positive pleasantry compared to what uh, Rashida Tlaib, socialist Spice Girl MF or Spice, you recall, what she had to say on MSNBC. I mean, this is an apartheid system. I mean, I mean, Israel's own prominent human rights organization, Beth Salam, has declared it. Human Rights Watch has declared it. And Palestinians on the ground have been telling us for decades uh, that they've been, their homes have been demolished, that they've been targeted, that they, that violence has been met by uh, Israeli-led forces uh, under Netanyahu's racist policies. But we're really telling Palestinians fighting apartheid is the same thing being told to my fellow black Americans across our country here and that are fighting against police brutality. There is no form of except a resistance to state violence, except the denial of, except for the denial of, you know, people's human dignity. And we need to stop. We need to stop and look at the fact that our own country is enabling it with billions of dollars every year being issued to Israel, even though they are promoting racism and dehumanization. Why not say to Netanyahu currently, who is, you know, running on anti-Arab rhetoric consistently, uh, accepting violence by allowing Israeli police and military forces to side with Israeli citizens who are literally throwing, physically throwing people out of their homes. Uh, U.S. taxpayer dollars should not be used to commit human rights violations. That needs to be said. I have yet to hear Anybody from the Biden administration declare that, that our money will not be used to degrade, to dehumanize, and to kill or uh, evict people out of their homes. Mm -hmm. Biden's been silent on this, Uh, silent on the gas shortage, too. Rashida Tlaib's comments, uh, Israel is an apartheid system. I mean, it's not anything you haven't heard from her before, I suppose. Uh, And I don't know. I don't know if the Democrat Socialist Party wants to take judicial notice of those sorts of statements. I don't know if the Anti-Defamation League would like to weigh in on this. Um, Rashida Tlaib, she wants to defund the police here, and she wants to defund uh, Israel's military in the Middle East. For more on this, we're pleased to be joined by Aviv Ezra, Israel's Council General to the Midwest. Aviv, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me on your show. Um, What about uh, Rashida Tlaib's comments about... uh, the uh, apartheid state that Israel is uh, overseeing, and the uh, and 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 her implication, as well as Bernie Sanders' uh, implication, that uh, it was Israeli Benjamin Netanyahu, Benjamin Netanyahu, and his uh, right-wing extremists that initiated this fighting. I don't think exactly it exactly meets the reality on the ground. I mean, there is no form of tolerance that we could have ever to a murder, murderous regime. Uh, any support that is given to a murderous regime that uh, shoots a thousand rockets today. By the way, the number is a thousand. A thousand rockets in less than 48 hours on innocent civilians that uh, bring death to to Israelis, that uh, bring in hundreds of of uh, of injured 
puts millions in shelters and commits human rights violations against not only Israeli civilians, but rather also against Palestinian civilians, because what they're doing is that they're committing double war crime. They're shooting at innocent civilians of my fellow country uh, citizens in Israel, but they're also making sure to do it from innocent civilians' locations within the Palestinian uh, uh, area. So to know that if we have to respond, God forbid, we'll have to uh, hurt also uh, uh, innocent civilians. So we're talking about a double war crime on, on the murderous regime called Hamas, and you're talking about a organization that uh, is shooting a thousand rockets at civilians. And I will uh, just put this out there in the, the most blunt way. What would America do if not a thousand rockets would lie or would rain on your heads, but a hundred or ten or even one single rocket? What would America do yeah, in a case like panic. that? Yeah. And, you, they, you know, you've got an air defense system system that that helps shoot down some of those rockets while they're in flight but um the thank Pal- goodness they have the iron yeah think yeah so the palestinian minister of health says 43 palestinians have been killed including 13 children who who fired first and why well first of all the numbers are from the hamas uh, ministry of health so i don't know how credible they are second as i said because they're committing double war crime out of the 40-something, uh, 43 people that they're mentioning, the majority of them are either Hamas operative, which means terrorist, or Islamic Jihad. Now, at the end of the day, if they are going to be committing that double war crime and shooting from their uh, innocent civilians like uh, schools or like uh, uh, hospitals, there will be a response on behalf of the Israeli Defense Force. And this goes back to our right for self-defense. Again, as we discussed it, like you said, if, if there will be one rocket rain upon you, or upon the European Union, or upon uh, Michigan uh, district, certain district in Michigan, that congresswoman will uh, retaliate and will respond in self-defense, and rightly so, and we we are doing the same. Well, it's sort of a remarkable uh, thing to hear from uh, Bernie Sanders, Rashida Tlaib, even though it may not be new. It still never ceases to be remarkable. Um, It is worth just noting that uh, Hamas and Islamic Jihad are still terrorist organizations as so designated by our State Department, including the State Department of the Biden administration, designated terrorist organizations. So you have Democrat Socialist members of Congress running interference for uh, listed terrorist organizations. A hundred percent. And by the way, the Hamas charter is a document that calls specifically for the murders of Jews and for the annihilation of my country. <laughs> so there's, there should not be any mistake and any um, vagueness in understanding who are the bad guys and who are the good guys and, and standing with, with the, the forces of democracy, with the forces of freedom. It's pretty clear if you stand with Israel and it's right for self-defense. Uh, you know, at the, the previous administration uh, uh, made such great progress along with Israel in trying to uh, promote peace in the region uh, vis-a-vis the Abraham Accords. I wonder where that stands right now from your perspective, these uh, pacts that Israel was signing with uh, uh, Muslim countries. Such a great question because we were totally focused, the entire foreign policy of Israel was focused in building bridges. And we were, because of the previous administration's effort vis-a-vis the Abraham Accord, we were successful in building additional bridges on top of Jordan and on top of Egypt and now Bahrain and the UAE and Morocco to show you that it's possible when you have a moderate uh, uh, partner on the other side. However, when we are talking about Hamas, we are talking about a radical, murderous uh, regime that took control of, of the entire area over there in the, in the Gaza Strip. And while we were focusing on building these bridges with these moderate forces in the Arab world successfully, they were focused on R&D and not to finding solutions to COVID, but R&D of how to uh, create better missiles to kill more Jews and more Israelis. So there's no, there's no partnering and there's no negotiation, no discussion with, with as you said, a designated uh, terrorist, internationally designated terrorist organizations like Hamas. They have to understand that there's a price tag attached to killing innocent people, and they and we will extract it from them. There's no doubt in my mind. And, and what is uh, your reaction to the response or lack thereof from the Biden administration so far on this, as well as your sense of their perspective on 
continuing to, to build upon the work that was done by Israel and the United States under the Trump administration? Look, I think that, as you mentioned, uh, the, the, US, uh, the Trump administration has pushed very, very strongly in, in favor of moving uh, uh, the peace uh, uh, wagon towards the right direction and worked perfectly. And with the Biden administration, our foreign minister just talked a couple of uh, hours ago with Secretary Blinken, and Secretary Blinken very specifically uh, stated that uh, Israel has the right for self-defense, especially when we have thousands of rockets like that raining upon our head. And, and you know, we expect our friends both here in the United States, but also in the U.S. Security Council and on, also in other junctions around the world to stand by Israel, because Israel is not just fighting our war against the radicals. Israel's fight against the radicals is representative of the fight of the entire like-minded countries against radicals around the world. I, I loved uh, David Harsani over at National Review. His uh, tweet in response to the Bernie Sanders statement I read at the outset, Israel has all the right enemies. Uh, it, it, it's, it's so true. It's so true. And um, hopefully it still has some of the right friends, too, and starting with the United States and the Biden administration. We'll see. Aviv Ezra, Israel's Council General to the Midwest. Aviv, thanks for joining us. Appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. And he joined us on our turnkey.pro answer line. Connect with Dan and Amy using the AM560 mobile app. Download it today at 560theanswer.com slash mobile. Are you aware that AmericanEagle.com has been designing websites since the Internet started? Do you know they've helped companies large and small achieve results that they themselves thought impossible? Today, a well-designed website is an art form. There are no cookie-cutter solutions. At AmericanEagle.com, they are proud to design and develop a website that fits their client's business. Their experience shows that a well-designed website with the client's business at the forefront will bring an excellent return on their investment. Clients, from startups to medium and large businesses, have come to rely on them for a full line of website services from consulting and integration to digital strategy and marketing, hosting and maintenance. AmericanEagle.com is the technology partner you need if you're looking for online success. They work with all kinds of companies in nearly every industry. Give the team at AmericanEagle.com a call today, 1-877-WEBNOW-1. Let them help you achieve online results and success. AmericanEagle.com, that number again, one eight seven seven web now and the number 1, one eight seven seven web now one All right. You've seen the stories, uh, heard about them, that some big box retailers are caving under pressure from progressives to take MyPillow products off their shelves. By now, you've all heard me talk about MyPillow, and now Mike has done it again by introducing his new My Slippers. Yes, it's taken two years to develop them, but they're designed to wear indoors and outdoors all day long. My slippers are made with my pillow foam and impact gel to help prevent fatigue. And it's made with quality leather suede. And for a limited time, Mike is offering 40% off his new my slippers. I love my slippers. I'm actually going to buy some and give as gifts. So you can show your support for this great American company by ordering and don't let cancel culture win. Go to mypillow.com, type Amy, A M Y, in that promo code. And you'll notice deep discounts on all my pillow products, including the Giza Dream bed sheets, the My Pillow mattress topper, and much, much more. Bathrobes, blankets, weighted blankets, they have it all. Go to mypillow.com, promo code Amy. You've heard Remke's Garage commercials on AM560, and now they specialize in servicing sprinters and light duty diesels. But the experts at Remke's also service Isuzu and Chevy low cab forward. 